Hello, in this video let's create stairs and let's try to use example A. So for example A let's go to one of the books. This book is in Lithuanian language and from here we can see stairs and stairs is made from concrete and the top uh, of the stairs is made of wood and steers price here is 175 and steers are connected to the uh, precast concrete hollow core slabs okay let's look uh, how the steers looks in the plan view so in the plan view we have this EU shape steers, and we can see here a uh, steer uh, wave is about a meter, and steps go around this uh, whole column. Okay, let's check how the steers looks in other views, in lintel views. So uh, steers which go around. They are connecting to the uh, lintel beam, and the same we can see in here. Lintel beam on which the concrete slab is uh, connected, and our stairs. Okay, let's uh, now look to the section view. In the section view, we can see stairs in the basement. They are connected uh, on some kind of uh, additional uh, hole parts here. But if we will make it a little bit maybe simplified version. And on the bearing walls, you can see they are uh, connected inside bearing wall. Or another solution, it's uh, near the bearing wall to some noise insulation parts, maybe. And how the connection of the stairs looks like to the main wall. So we can see. It is inside masonry wall and it is uh, on mm, some monolithic part and the stairs is monolithic. We have some wooden part uh, which is connected to this monolithic part. Okay, so before we start we should check out some recommendations and regulations in Lithuania country. So let's go to our uh, uh, regulation for structure building uh, portal. So in this portal, we should look for uh, living house projects. Uh, this is uh, the code for this uh, uh, Lego paper. And in here, we can look for short name of the stairs in Lithuanian and here we can see in which locations the stairs are mentioned. So for us uh, one of the most important table is this one. Uh, how what are the minimum uh, and maximum uh, dimensions for the stairs. So if we have a, a living house of two floors so uh, a minimum wave of, of uh, uh, the staircase is uh, 0 0.9 meters. Uh, height of the rise is uh, uh, maximum is 180 millimeters, uh, and recommended uh, wave of the risers. Is calculated by the 
and for the basement our house has a basement so in the basement this size of the rice can be uh, 200 millimeters and we have some other regulations recommendations in this page also we can use uh, tools uh, like this for um, pre-calculating how much stairs we should have in our building and we can type some numbers and try to make a small pre-calculation of our stairs next part we can also read some articles uh, from the uh, portals for the building uh, and here you can see recommendations and uh, a lot of useful tricks and trips how the stairs should be uh, prepared mounted and, and created for your building also if the stairs is precast uh, or, or cast in place it depends from different technologies so if we create stairs from precast elements so you can check uh, precast concrete uh, companies they produce uh, typical staircases and here you can see some dimensions recommended dimensions some tables for landings uh, rises and, and so on so this is company one another company also has similar recommendations uh, elements next company has uh, more explanation about stairs and what are the recommended uh, rise hay wave of rice and uh, what are the most uh, ergonomic for the uh, users so here you can read more uh, of course you can find uh, similar articles in, in other languages also you can choose maybe other languages in this page also from our company can see some examples and some description also we can find here some useful uh, uh, documents for designers with recommendations how to connect stairs and so on next part important for the stairs is how they are connected to walls how the noise insulation is prevented so one of the uh, best components in the market from German company Halfen uh, you can see some special details for the stairs noise insulation and here are some details how the stairs should be connected uh, and different possibilities uh, and, and recommendations with all the uh, examples details explanation calculations and so on so this is one example from one company here are some examples from other company uh, you can see here uh, for more details and, and uh, you can download some technical uh, documentation also another German company Shook uh, also suggests some interesting solutions uh, which can be used for the stairs so here we can see similar stairs to our stairs which we will make in our building so here are some nice looking examples and how the stairs are prepared for the building site next part uh, in our project we have some special beams uh, precast beams so the data uh, according beam code from our uh, project is MU14 and here we can see what are the dimensions of this beam and uh, what are other properties of the beam so we can make this element in our program so let's go to the project page and in here we can see how this staircase looks so in the basement stairs start from here goes around the uh, main beam wall component in the middle the next uh, first floor and the second floor 
and in the 3D model we can see how the stairs should be created correctly. So from the basement we have stairs uh, which uh, is inserted inside the floor construction. So beneath this part of the stairs uh, it's recommended to put some uh, thicker concrete layer or to put some special foundation for the stair. Uh, also we see uh, floor finish is uh, in the same level with stair finish. So stairs goes around, we have some nice railing around the stairs and we come to this part where the stairs connects to the floor. So here we have floor construction. So we see all the layers. Uh, finish layer, wooden part should be the same on the stairs and, and on the floor. Uh, also it can be a little bit different but in this model we have made the same uh, thickness. And here we have a concrete beam uh, from the properties we see an E114. If I press uh, edit properties so I can see all the dimensions uh, taken from this location. And we leave some space between our stairs and the uh, concrete beam uh, to put uh, in, in sound insulation or to put some uh, a layer for connecting this part. So this space is recommended to put about 10 millimeters and uh, in the bottom part of floors we have some uh, finish layer for plaster. It's about 10 millimeters um, so it can be a little bit hard. You see we have different thickness here so depending from the construction maybe we can lift it a little bit up uh, and also maybe we can make a, a little bit uh, thinner the stair part so the finish layer goes nicely uh, and hides this beam beneath it. So in this case stair to, to the external wall is connected putting it uh, near the uh, external wall. Uh, this is a solution let's say number one. Uh, we can use uh, additional details from recommended sites uh, for the stair insula in uh, noise insulation uh, and we can connect the stairs using this uh, technology. In Revit we cannot join a stair walls so in this case in section views we will see some additional lines which can be hidden with a detail item components. Now let's go and look how the uh, second floor stairs looks like. So in this case uh, stairs starts from the concrete slab so they are on the top of the concrete slab so you can see it's uh, uh, located here. Uh, also we have not very nice part here but it's uh, it can be fixed with maybe the uh, shaft opening changing it uh, parameters. Uh, it also if we change it will uh, a little bit change here so this part will not be uh, equal to this part. So uh, in, in the real project this part should be hidden using some special finish materials and so on. So second floor the stairs are made from two parts. So one part is representing a concrete layer and the next part is representing the finish layer. So the concrete layer in this case is inserted inside the wall. So in this case we have uh, uh, double materials because uh, we have stairs inside the wall. So to solve this uh, problem here we can make some uh, hole inside wall. For this uh, I recommend to use um, 
components model in place and you should model in place uh, a void component which can only uh, cut the bearing part of the wall if you have multi-layer wall and it, uh, it makes space for the stairs and this connection goes around and it's inside the wall like you see here now finish layer is uh, has some gap between the wall it's about 10 millimeters gap it depends from the uh, technology how it will be mounted uh, of course on the wall we have some plaster so this gap should be about 10 20 millimeters uh, to avoid some problems if we want to put this uh, stair finish nicely uh, without mistakes on our stairs now about stair settings so the first floor stairs uh, in this case we have different uh, uh, of our stairs so the, th the uh, stairs from basement to first floor is to 700 so if I go to here and divide this one from 175 so we can see we have not even number of uh, our rises so in this case let's do a little bit different and here we have the here for our rises on the uh, basement floor so if I go to the section view then you create stairs I recommend to create sections through all the parts of the stairs so you should create sections to all the directions so you can see the stairs from all the parts around so here if we look to the first uh, stairs uh, so here you can see the height of this part of prices is 180 and it nicely finishes the this nice joint and if I go to another section view here and maybe another one rotating around and the final number four connecting to the floor here uh, so we have 15 uh, rises uh, 180 uh, of the stairs and other settings in this case is uh, let's go to edit type so here we can select this recommended sizes so I selected 177 um, it's it's uh, let's say maximum of course I can write 180 according to the reg regulations from the uh, documents which I showed previous next part is run type so for the run type I select uh, this part so uh, structure depth in this case is 110 uh, it's nicely joins and connects uh, to the stairs so first I it was maybe much thicker but in this case 110 it's I think optimal for this case also uh, in this case uh, I use stepped uh, version so you can see nice steps looking uh, going from one uh, direction to another uh, if I select move so it depends it can give me some problems can't make stairs and has some uh, explanations something is wrong so in, in this case let's use stepped version and for the thread version I use threaded and thread thickness is uh, 20 
millimeters the same thickness like my floor finish and the material is the same wood part uh, density 700 and the main stairs uh, density is uh, uh, concrete density 2400 and other settings from here you see default default zero and rise slanders I am not using in this case so it's just uh, like this and in the main steer type settings so uh, I don't have landings so landings in this case is not so important of course landing thickness should be the same like thickness of, uh, of the run or similar to it and I don't have any supports stairs are made from concrete uh, if they we are made from wood uh, metal components so you can select these elements of course I should fill some uh, type mark data maybe some links from which I took information and and other uh, description so steers and, and so on should be filled in this location also and if I select uh, other steers from other floor so in here uh, we can see steers is minus 20 uh, by the thickness of the finish from both floors and in this case we have 3000 uh, uh, of other steers so if I divide 3000 by 75 also I have a number of 17 uh, rises so if I divide 3000 from 17 so it means the rise here is 176.47 and and number is not nice uh, so if I model it with Revit it catches everything nicely and in this case I have a nice number the uh, wave is the same in both stairs but in this case these stairs are a little bit uh, have a little bit smaller than the stairs to the basement uh, so in this case we have 176 uh, according to the rules it's recommended what uh, all this part cannot be uh, cannot have different uh, rise cakes all the rise should be the same so from this case this part is the same and this part also is the same from start to beginning and the rules is followed uh, if we want we can do something uh, example let's say I want to make maybe another example 15 let's uh, let's see put this minus 45 okay and if I do something like that uh, my uh, first steer will go down and the first uh, steer will be different here and uh, I can catch it all the steers will be the same like here but one steer will be in wrong here uh, according to, uh, to, to the uh, not according to the rules so it can give me a lot of uh, problems in this case so uh, let's change it to the version what we had before and let's use it and let's make some exception in this case and stair should be looking like that okay and 
also it is recommended to uh, change settings uh, here on the run begin at the rise and the rise I unchecked these parameters and uh, I used uh, extend below red base uh, minus 177 so it can be minus uh, 110 according to the same thickness of my steers and it creates additional part which is inserted inside the floors and the beams nicely is joined to this wall and let's check how the stairs looks from the plan view so let's press edit and let's go to the minus here and edit this one So from here you can see I created some a gap between the this wall. Uh, this connection can be created using these elements which I showed before. Uh, for these stairs, this gap can be uh, made zero, uh, but I wanted to make it the same in both uh, floors. So if I uh, turn this part off and select stairs from another floor you will see some differences and maybe problematic parts of the stairs so if I select this one let's select more dimension so some stairs are going uh, and in this case this part is uh, intersecting and if I don't make this uh, a gap here, uh, the program will not, not let me create stairs. So I chose this kind of solution to make some small gap between these lines and it nicely creates stairs. Uh, maybe there are other techniques how to, how to solve this problem, but here are one example how to do it. And for the finish, part if I select edit, so from here you can see a gap here, a gap here, 10 millimeters, and uh, if I cut my finish and bring it to the building site it should nicely fit in this location uh, in case my walls is not very equal also in this case we have some problematic uh, locations here uh, we have some strange uh, strange gaps in these locations I'm not sure why they are here, but it seems program understands or makes some exceptions and and it's not it's not looking very nice, but in this case I didn't found any solution, so you can make stairs looking like that. From material point of view, these parts miss some material, but if you put uh, several parts in the uh, shadows of materials, you can solve this problem from this case.